Hi hey guys, welcome to another After Effects tutorial and this week we're going to take a look at displacement maps. Uh, so what are displacement maps? Well, displacement maps are basically uh, a way to uh, shift the position of pixels from the original location. So displacement, you're moving it away from its original location. So let's take a look at an example here. Um, this is from the to go to the top uh, After Effects effects. I guess and as you can see here when I fire my uh, huge plasma gun the air around it kind of lip ripples like you see that and again here just sort of like a ripple like this is with the ripple and without with without so it just displaces the particles a bit with uh, this some distortion so it kind of looks like you know there's a shock wave being emitted from the gun. The basics of doing displacement maps is very simple, but you can pretty much use it for a variety of different effects. So let's take a look at uh, this example. So I'm going to take my footage here, drop into new composition. Let's just find the endpoint. What here? Trim it. Okay, let's just quickly add a muzzle flash. About here. Change the blending mode to add. So. Alright, so we're gonna make a shockwave come out from the gun. And the way we're gonna do that is using a displacement map. So, in order to create a displacement map, we have to make it in a new composition. So, what we're gonna do is just, just copy this one, rename it to displacement. Yeah. Open it. So we're gonna put the displacement starting around here. So first we're gonna guide, make this a guide there. Delete the model flash, we don't need that. I'm gonna create a new solid. Make comp size, okay. Next we're gonna take the elliptical mass tool, hold down shift and make huge perfect circle. Like so. Then we're gonna do it again. And make another circle, but this time smaller than the uh, first one, like so. Move it so it's kind of like here. This is actually a bit too big. Let's scale it down a bit. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect because, well, you're actually going to be uh, seeing this. So something like this, and then set the second one to subtract. So you can have this uh, donut, this circle donut thing. Now we're going to animate the scale, so let's just start from the first frame, scale here. So 100%, actually let's drop that down to about 15%. Scaled all the way up to 100%. Okay, so we have this donut thing. Now we're going to position at the point where we want it to start, so about here. Move it up, move it right here. Actually, the second mask can probably be a bit bigger, so we're just going to fix that. Scale it up. Oh, but it starts clipping, so we're going to scale the other one down. Like so. Then, actually, we should feather it out a bit, maybe 25 pixels, just so it gives a smooth edge. Maybe in 50. So it animates outwards like so. Alright. So now we're gonna go back to our main footage. Put the displacement map on. So yep, it comes out like this. Okay. Now we're gonna make a new adjustment there. Look for displacement map. Drop it onto the adjustment layer. Align the adjustment layer up. And from here, we want the displacement map to be the displacement map layer. So just drop down. Click the right one. Of course, we're gonna turn this off because we don't want to see it. And there we have it. Displacement map working already. The only thing we need to do now is maybe modify it a bit, uh, add more displacement. 
I basically want to play with these two settings to set how much displacement uh, your displacement mob causes. So the the higher the value, obviously, the the more distorted it'll look. And if you overdo it, it's gonna look weird. But you know, makes for some pretty cool effects sometimes. As you notice, it starts clipping at the sides here. So we're actually gonna animate it out before it starts clipping. So open up the opacity by hitting T, animate it from 100 all the way down to 0. So we want to stop it here, 0. So, of course, you don't want to add too much displacement. So, yeah, just like that, guys. If it's a bit too slow, if you wanted to expand a little bit faster, you can always modify it. Uh, go to time, time stretch. Maybe you want it twice as fast, so 50%. But of course, you gotta line it back up properly. About here. Okay, turn it off. And. We have a little faster. So now that you guys know the basics, you can pretty much use this technique for a variety of things. Like for example, uh, from last week's tutorial, you have the energy burst one. I added some displacement particles here. Uh, this is generated using a CC particle world and a blur. So it's just a particle emitter. And then I blurred it, so it became like this. And this basically acted as my uh, air displacement, as you can see here. Let me just run that for you guys. And the technique is the same, guys. Just uh, create the displacement map, which is this layer here, this composition. And then I added the displacement map to an adjustment layer, this one here, number three. And I animated the in and out point, so it was 100% here, and then it slowly faded out to zero. And the displacement was only seven. I also used this effect in the X-Men video where uh, Pyro shows off his flame abilities. Uh, if you take a close look here, the air will be kind of distorted, so as if the flame is giving off some heat. Right there. Let me just run it really quick. And this is the, the exact same method guys, look at, this is basically the particles I have rising up. Uh, if you want to look at the original composition, it's just a bunch of particles being flown up into the sky. And then a displacement map effect on an adjustment layer, which is again animated. This time it's in, not out, so, you yeah. know. That's what it does, and I also masked it out. So I just want this part of the uh, of the of the frame to be displaced. I don't want the entire the entire composition because if I don't use the mask, everything is gonna get distorted, and I don't want that. So I need the mask there. So you guys, this was kind of a technical tutorial, and basically what you want to do for displacement maps is to create a composition for. What your displacement is gonna be, and then create, and then add a adjustment layer with the display with the displacement map effect on it. So yeah, guys, this is just a technique that you can use to sell your effects more, uh, make them more awesome, make them have more pop. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, please post it in the comments. Or if you're having difficulty, uh, I'll try to help you out. All right, peace.